Hi guys, welcome back. Excuse the painty fingers. Um, I am here today to do a video for you, which will be a haul video. You will have seen that in the title. Um, I recently went into the city this week and I picked up a great big lot of lovely crafty supplies that I am super excited about. So I thought I need to quickly film this video or else I can't use the things that I picked up and I do want to be playing with them. So let me share with you my awesome haul. First up, I um, went to Kmart and I didn't get heaps. Um, they had, a, oh no, I got more than actually I brought in here. I've forgotten to bring some things, but these are the things I wanted to share anyway, particularly these. I got this lot of washi tape, which I'm super been into just sort of plain washies recently and bright colors. So this was awesome. This was just $5. And so was this. This is super, super cool. I am really excited to show you guys these. Uh, let me just, give me a second, sorry, excuse me. I'm just grabbing a envelope here just to give you guys a little demo of what these are if you haven't seen them. If you're in New Zealand and probably Australia too, I really recommend going and grabbing these. It's $5 for seven of them. I think they're so cool. And they're just these little spritzy kind of spray paint so I'm gonna just use green and purple for now I'm just picking out two random colors so these are really cool I'll show you them they're just I mean there's things you will have seen these sorts of things before but I just think they work so super well they look really really cute and they're so cheap so I grabbed that and I definitely think I'll be buying these again they just look really fun. Um, I'm just going to add one more colour because while I'm here, why not? Let's go with yellow. Look at the beautiful, vibrant colours they have. It's just gorgeous. So I'm just going to set that away to dry somewhere. I'm going to wipe down my fingers and then I will get on with the rest of the haul. Okay, now that's all off to the side. We can move on to the haul. Well, the haul I got from the secondhand stuff kind of haul. Um, those first two things obviously were brand new items from Kmart and then I went to um, a place called Creative Junk. I Almost every one of my haul videos up on this channel, it's from Creative Junk. It's the best place in my area to go to get an awesome amount of craft supplies or, you know, papery bits for a really good price. So, um, it's $10 to $15 to fill a bag. I paid $15 this time because I they were going to charge me $10, but I offered $15 because honestly I filled up my bag pretty 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 high, so I was happy to pay a bit more. Um, so I got this wrapping paper. It's this beautiful vintage wrapping paper with these. It's orange with these beautiful daisies and butterflies on it. I think it's just so cute, um, and so I picked that up. So like I said, it's just a filler bag, so um, all of this, it was just $15 for everything in this haul here. Um, I grabbed these. I've got even more of them than is here. They're just these little um, bags um, and I thought that they'd be great for Happy Mails or for packaging up order things and so I just took a massive bundle of them. So I've got so many of these now um, but they just had stacks of these that are obviously just being discarded by stores. They don't want them. Um, so I picked them up and thought I could make use of them rather than them go to the tip. Um, okay, this, these things are all kind of out of order, but that's right. I picked up this big lot of envelopes. They're a really nice big size. Um, and they're beautiful craft brown. I just thought they were great. And so I grabbed this little stack of them here. Um, and again, thought this would be great for a great size for Happy Mail and things like that. So I grabbed that lot. I also grabbed another slightly larger size, but that's obviously further down the, the pile of things, so I can't show you that just yet, um, but I will. More of those bags. I've got so many of them. Um, I picked up some of these napkins. They're a little bit crumpled, but I mean, when you paste them onto paper, they obviously just sort of stick down better, but they're little happy Christmas cats, and I love cats, and so I thought this would be super cute, um, to pop into my Christmas journal this year um, I, and probably I'll give some in Happy Mail or something but I really thought that was so cute so I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed a bunch of these um, discarded um, plastic Santa bags and plastic tablecloths that were Christmas themed 
and I figured because I'm hoping to do this year um some Christmas journals for sale from my store and I always like to wrap the journals that I send ideally I like to wrap them in plastic um, so that if they are out in your mailbox for too long or whatever, there's some sort of protection from the weather. Um, and I just thought I could reuse these old Christmas um, tablecloths. I'll wipe them all down. I'll give them a good proper wash. Um, but I thought I could use the plastic of these because instead of them going to landfill, I could just cut out the size of plastic I need and wrap the journals in them. And it gives it a nice Christmassy feel. Um and it's reusing this plastic rather than it just being single use. Um, so yeah, I got a few plasticky bits and pieces that have sort of Christmas things on them. And I will try and use them rather than just buying plastic. That just seems like a great big waste of plastic to me. Um, here's more of those napkins that I showed you. I picked up a whole, well I think it was six, of these beautiful like little embossed Santa ornament things. I thought they're such cute tags and I'll probably pop them in some journals or some happy mail. Um, my Facebook group, little sneak peek guys, October Facebook group swap is going to be kind of a Christmas themed swap. So these might be going out in some happy mails there. We'll see. We do swaps every month in my Facebook group that I am running and so I like to have bits and pieces ready for that. Um, I also picked up these really cute little Santas. They're quite vintagey looking. I don't know if they actually are vintage or, or if they're not, but they are very cute little vintage looking Santas. Um, and again, I thought they'd be cute in journals. They'd be great like um, little places to write or something like that. The journal I'm going to be using this year, I haven't made it yet, but it will be a ring, ring bound one, I think. And so I can make this like a little page or something in my journal. That's the plan. Ringbound is the plan at this stage. I found two of these. I don't know if I've got both of them here or not. But they're just these little, I don't even know what they are, sort of tray cloth things. I don't know. But I thought they'd make really cute journal covers as well for Christmas. They've got the little ornaments, little holly, um, little flowers. I don't know. I thought they were really cute. So I grabbed the two that were there of those and I think I'm going to somehow try and turn those into some little covers. I will show you this here. I got, this is a massive, massive, I hit the jackpot with this honestly, this huge stack here of wallpaper, really, really pretty wallpapers so lovely i just honestly was so excited to find these they're lovely really beautiful florals and um soft colors they're all a bit bent but i'm going to try and maybe iron them or something and get the wrinkles out but i am thinking i might make up some wallpaper packs because like there is so much of these beautiful and down the bottom here is the smaller pieces which i think are really particularly lovely um these like edge pieces here the borders um they are just stunning these wallpapers they're just so pretty like this one's got this beautiful bird on it um got all of these lovely florally pieces heaps of them they're just so pretty honestly i was so excited to come across these so i'm thinking about doing some wallpaper packs um i'll probably cut down the pieces to you know a certain size or whatever and make up some little packs um yeah let me know if you'd be interested in a wallpaper pack um but i think that these are so so sweet so i'm excited to play with them so i got this massive massive stack it's just huge there's so much here so i'm definitely not going to be able to use all of this so i definitely would like to be able to share some I'll just move these off the table because that is taking up an awful lot of my space. There's even more, like I, I didn't even get it all out, like there's even more of this lovely wallpaper that I picked, there was so much and I picked up a whole lot of it, um, yeah I was really excited. I got this thing, like I've said this is sort of like a tip shop kind of, people just, it's all old stuff that could still be used it's a bit gunky 
um but i thought these centers were cute and so i'm going to probably try and i don't know what this would have been for it's got these like sort of slit parts in it and it's obviously been hung up with a rubber band at some point um but i'm going to try and salvage these santas because i think they're very sweet little santas um so that's that i did pick up quite a bit of christmas related bits and pieces this time because i'm about to start working on my christmas things so here i grabbed some more christmasy bits some labels these are more little labels i really love these kind of gold and red ones there's my phone as I was saying, I got these little Christmas decorations, little bits of cards and tags and things like that, um, little Santas, some stickers here, super cute, I've got a bunch more too and I'm sure you will see them as we go along, but those are some of my Christmas stickers and things like that. Um, I grabbed, there's a few more of these Christmassy kind of napkins that I picked up. See, I'm so disorganized. I've got more of these. <laughs> Things are not in order. Let's see if I can skip through. So oh, here we go. Here's um, these larger envelopes. So these were the ones that I showed you before. They're a bit smaller. Um, and then I grabbed these ones. I really like these. They're quite, they've got quite a patinaed kind of edge to them. And I just like the way they open. I like this little cut out for the envelope I don't know I just thought it was really cute um so I'm gonna have fun decorating some of these I think um to send out as more happy mails a slightly larger happy mail yeah I'm really pleased about them um fabrics let's have a look at the fabrics I've got here I got picked up this they just have bins of scrap fabrics I picked up this beautiful kind of I'm sure it's not proper velvet I don't know what it is but it's sort of velvety and it's this beautiful dark foresty green I just think this will make a stunning cover it's definitely going to be a cover that needs to be lint rolled because it picks up fluff very easy but I don't know I just thought it was so beautiful and so nice and thick that I could create something cool out of it so I I grabbed that um I also grabbed a bunch of these these obviously were supposed they were samples from a shop i'm guessing um for curtains that you know the parts that go around to hold your curtains back but they have this beautiful um like lovely cream sort of thick and textured fabric with these beautiful like embroidered flowers and leaves they've got that one which is that kind of beigey color this one's like a gold this one is that same kind of beige and then they've got this one which has beautiful red flowers and I just thought they were lovely and um, I love using embroidered kind of pieces as just like snippets to add sort of extra texture and I don't know I just thought it was really lovely so I grabbed them. I've got another one here of the red. They just had those few of them and I just thought they were really nice so I think I could make um, either some mini kind of journal covers maybe. Like, I don't know, that might, I don't know what size that is, but they'd be quite small. Um, but they'd be very cute. I don't know, we'll see what I make out of those. They're, they're really nice fabric. Um, and then I've just got a bunch more fabric kind of scraps and pieces here. This is just a scrap, but it was pretty, so I grabbed it. This one has little geese on it, and I just couldn't leave it behind. I think I'm going to have to make myself a journal cover or something with this. I just think it's so so cute there is a fly in here that is annoying um then these are just some little pieces i really liked this little bit here this is just another little scrap they just have heaps of these little tiny scrap pieces but so textured and beautiful colors this one is another little scrap it just has like scissors and thread and buttons and i thought this would be great to add to the edge of my page in my personal journal if i've been doing some sort of work with textiles or something just as a little reminder of that this beautiful piece, I need. I knew I needed some orange fabric because when I was working on my rainbow journals recently, I just realized I didn't have a lot of orange. So I was on the lookout for orange and I found this scrap, which I thought was really lovely. Um, these pieces here are so cute. Look at them. Again, they would make really cute little journal covers or something like that, you know. How adorable is that? So sweet. And then this was the bigger piece and it had this um, sort of edge bordery part and I just thought it was so cute. So grabbed them, and that's again this another little tiny bit, uh, well not tiny, but you know smallish. Um, super cute, I love them. There, here's some more orange that I grabbed, just some orange sort of and white checked 
sort of print I don't know I just think it's I like using a cheek kind of thing or a stripe or a dot I don't know these sorts of pattern but not um like detailed patterns I find really good for you know just I don't know I find them great to have um and then I found this piece too which I thought was really cute um it has this beautiful I'll see if I, you can see it or I hope you can um it's like this Christmas wreath kind of thing and it's got two wreaths and then over on this side it's got these hearts um I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to use it for but I you know I couldn't leave it behind it was so adorable and with my Christmas things you know I'm gonna start working on my Christmas journal soon I really should have started on them by now it might be a this weekend project um I just knew I should grab them um I got this little stack here of these cards these cards we get sent out quite a lot in the mail and they're art that's been painted by people who can't use their hands so they have to use paintbrushes in their mouth or with their feet and they've just got some really cute little art and I just thought they'd make great things to tuck into journals most of them seem to be quite Christmassy but some are not um some are you know floral or scenery or whatever um and I just thought they would be great for either sending in happy mails or tucking into journal pockets or um just writing little thank you notes on or something like that so I grabbed the little stack of them here they were all done up with this rubber band so I just grabbed the whole bundle definitely think I could use them somehow this little pouch I found it's I saw these for sale I'm pretty sure in the warehouse last year um, and I was tempted to buy one last year and now I'm glad I didn't because I managed to pick one up for cheaps. Um, and inside I've just added a bunch of these little bits of Christmassy ephemera things. It looks like somebody had gone through and cut up all of their old Christmas cards because you can see on a, quite a few of them they've got messages on them. Um, obviously kind of from their Christmas cards and I thought they were really sweet and so I've just popped them I picked them all up and I've just popped them into this for now so that they're not um, you know spreading out everywhere but again this is another one of these cute things that I think I'm going to somehow work into my own personal Christmas journal I think I don't know I just think it's such a cute little pouch um, and if I'm doing it with um, ring bound I'm thinking I might sew some paper or something onto the edge of it and clip holes in it so that it can just be a, like a page in there and then I could maybe collect my Christmas cards I don't know we'll see what happens with that um these were I don't know this is just sitting in this pile of stuff it's these little dinosaur pictures I don't know what on earth it would be from but I thought they were cute um so I thought I could fussy cut them out and use them in my journal or something they're very sweet little dinosaur pictures so grabbed that what else do we have so much random stuff. I picked up some more napkins. These have got these beautiful floral butterflies. And these ones had these cute little chicky duckling things. They're very cute. So I grabbed that one. This is just a paper bag. I love using these paper bags that I find with this big grid for collaging. I just love the paper for collaging. So I think I got a couple of them. Um, I also grabbed this one that was grey and had gold a gold stripe on it. That will probably work for collaging too. What on earth do I have now? This is more of those really large envelopes. But some of these things are hard to pull out because there's just a bunch of little bits and pieces. Um, so it's just going to kind of have to be handfuls after handfuls of these things, I think. Um, let me see what else I've got here. So I grabbed this bag. It was just full of these red stars like sort of like large sequins they're big um and again I thought they will work in Christmas journals maybe I could make some sort of shaker pocket with them or something so that's the plan with those little big pieces there um I always grab tissue paper when I can find it I love using tissue paper and this was cute with the black and white polka dot here's another fabric scrap that I picked up this was just a panel kind of from some clothing that they were obviously sewing and never finished and it just had this gorgeous gorgeous embroidery on it um couldn't resist it so pretty um so that will be used on something oh i've got hiccups i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with these but these are those threading games for kids 
And I just thought they would make really cute, enormous tags in journals. So I don't know exactly when or how I'll use it, but I'm going to figure out something to do with these. Maybe I could give myself a challenge or something to make some tags out of these great big things. Quite cool though. I found a few of these adorable little, like, little mouse on a poppy little cards. They're very thin paper kind of cards rather than cardstock. So I think I probably will use, sort of maybe we'll just cut it off or I'll use it in my own journal as like a little foot to do my personal journaling in or maybe in some happy mail. They're really cute. Um, I grabbed a few different cards. This one had a little envelope with it, which was so cute. Really pretty. Um, I got two of those ones. Um, I found a bunch of, what are they called, bookmarks. A bunch of different bookmarks. They're all from Book Depository. And I think I'm just going to cut off the Book Depository part. And I could use them maybe as belly bands in my journal or um, do use them as like tags and cover the back as well to do some writing on or something. Um, just as cute little tuck pockets or something. I don't know. They're really sweet. Um, so a lot of them are book depository or library kind of things. But I have just decided I will cut off the cut off the book depository part and st I could keep it on. I don't care. We'll see what I do with it. Um, I'm sorry, this is an all over the place sort of video, isn't it? Some more of the cards that I picked up, that little bird one, this little girl painting Easter eggs. I got a whole stack of these cards that say best wishes with this floral pattern. I think I'm going to um, probably just cut around that and use that in a journal or something. Here's some more bookmarks, another envelope that's randomly in there. I got stacks and stacks and stacks of stickers. Um, honestly, so many stickers. Um, they would just gotten in a big collection of stickers right before I arrived, so I was lucky. These I thought were so cute, and I remember having these stickers when I was a kid, so I was excited to find them. Um, I got this random one-off giant playing card. Here's a really cute little like stand-up pop-up card. I think it's very cute. Some kitty cat stickers, they're kind of fuzzy. This random shaped card that's like a poppy's card. This one's obviously um, embroidery, just some sort of photocopy or, I don't know, printout of some embroidery that's just been folded up. And so I'll use that somehow. These are all those best wishes cards. Um, a little Christmas card of this. Oh, these had the most stunning envelopes. They have just these little cards in them. And then look at the inside of these little mini envelopes. They're just gorgeous. They're so beautiful. Um, so I grabbed, I think there was only maybe two or three of them there, so I picked them up. Um, we've got more Christmas kind of label stickers. These are little pop-out pieces for Christmas. Honestly, I grabbed so much stuff. They're, they're, they just have a whole warehouse full of this kind of stuff. Stickers, this random bit of paper that I thought was kind of cute. Um, more stickers with words and phrases on them. Here, um, these little label stickers that have little penguins on them, so cute. More of these um, little card things. Oh, I found these little stamps, little clear stamps. I hope you can. I hope you can't hear my cat. She's whining at the door. She wants to come in, but she's not allowed in here. Um, these are some rub-ons, I think, or tattoos, or I don't know. But I'm gonna try and use them in my journal. They're super weird. Um, and these little froggy stickers. These cute little Winnie the Pooh stickers. These are some little people. I, as you can see, a lot of them are used. This is a dump shop, so a lot of people just will use some and then they don't want the rest of them. So you can just find some of half-used sticker sheets. And I love grabbing the half-used sticker sheets. I mean, it just it feels so satisfying to finish off a sticker sheet. These cute little animals. These ones, obviously, some planner stickers or something about exercise and water intake and things little rabbit little cat little playing card thing more little stickers super cute um this big sort of sticker book that's definitely been used somewhat um with labels for christmas they're a bit shiny so I, my good pens won't work on them but um just a regular biro will work um i'll see how i use them might give someone happy mail as well some Angelina Ballerina stickers. I don't know if you guys know Angelina Ballerina, but my little sister 
was obsessed with Angelina Ballerina when she was little and it just reminds me of her. So I, I got them. I've got more of them too. There was a few sets of these Angelina Ballerina sort of sticker sheets and it just reminded me of my little sister. Um, she's not little anymore, but um, it reminded me of her and so I grabbed them. Oh, I loved this sticker set with the little animals. I live out in the country. My parents live next door on a farm and these are all just New Zealand farm sort of rural stickers and I just thought that was so cute. Definitely we use them. Here's another one of those sticker sheets that's almost gone. Some more bookmarks. Um, I found this sticker which I thought was really, um, it's really big and thick and it's about a rugby tour I think but it's very pretty <laughs> um, and then there's this little sequin colour range piece of paper which I thought was cute and I might try and use this somehow as like a tag in my own journal Tweed what are you doing I found these little alpha stickers. I am obsessed with alpha stickers at the moment. Use them all the time in my journal. So I'll definitely be using these ones. More little word stickers here. This is a tiny little cute card. Just a little baby card. Um, again, more of these words. More of the alphabet sort of things. I'll see which ones I use and which ones I give away. Um, here's more of that grid paper that I'll use for collaging. This one's a grey grid. I found one random email envelope. This is, it, yeah, like I said, it's a dump shop, so there's just random bits of everything all shoved in together and you're kind of going to rummage through. I picked up these two maps. Um, they're of Christchurch, which is the city closest to where I live. Um, I don't live in Christchurch, but I, it's about an hour and a half, and it's where I go to do my thrifting and things like that. And I just thought having these maps might come in handy if I'm in my own personal journal writing about somewhere in, in the city that I've gone to. Um, so I thought I would just, you know, I could cut out a piece of the map saying I'd been in this area or whatever. I don't know. I grabbed them just in case I could use them. I found this old vintage packaging for... Um, what is it? Crepe paper? Yeah, crepe paper. And I just love the colours and the the style of printing that they've done on it. It's just so gorgeous and oh, so lovely. And there was three of them, I think. Yeah, three of these wrappers. And I just think I'm going to try and use these for collage too. They're really, really cool. Um, some more of that tissue paper. Here's another bunch. Let's shuffle through this. This is where someone had started doing some beautiful folk art on it and never finished it. But I thought it was lovely. More little stickers. This is a Matariki little um, postcard thing. I mean, bookmark. I found a big stack of these. Really cool. I've got more than this. Um, these are all cards to do with New Zealand things. So that's stickers there. But like the Kai, uh, they do the jet boat kind of writing here. They have the whales in Kaikoura. Um, they have the Putakawa or Rata tree. I'm not sure which one that is actually. All Blacks playing, um, surfing, the ferns. We've got a big, I'm guessing like Cody tree or something. I don't know. Um, skiing. They just have a bunch at the beach. They've got um, the beehive, which is our parliament building. Volcanoes, New Zealand where it's marked as Wellington. That's our capital city. Fishing. So many tramping, that's a Christmas card. Southern Southern Cross, which is the star constellation we have here. So it just um, has all these, the um, cabbage trees, the waka. It has all these really cool New Zealandy kind of themed, this is the Sky Tower in Auckland. Um, cool things that were about New Zealand. And so I grabbed them because I definitely think I can use them in my journal. Um, some more little Christmassy bits, a little cat card. This is like a little pin cushion card. So cute. Um, another one of those beautiful envelopes. Another one of those rub-ons or stickers. Picked up this card. It's got the beautiful again, Pūtikawa. I, I'm really bad at being able to tell Pūtikawa and Rata apart, honestly. Um, some more really interesting gift greeting card kind of things. 
and these ones these are so cute these are little birthday invitations they're really cute little little um vintage ones so adorable i just love them i'm going to be able to use these for when i'm going to birthdays to pop in my journal or something just so cute um what else do i have let's just grab another big handful and see what we get this is quite um antique looking but i thought that it still had some beauty to it and i'll try and use that somehow this is a cute little pocket type of thing i'm not exactly sure what it is i think it's japanese the paper is lovely more of those cards another one of these little kitty cat cards more christmas things some more star stickers these are like game pieces or something that have hogwarts sort of i'm guessing hogwarts sort of label on them i don't know what i'm going to do with them i'll probably give them away um a lot of paint chip cards i picked up um little card here some stickers some more paint cards some little bits of fabric let's grab another pile another big stack out of here so here's a, a wee envelope. These are stencils, I believe, for on the top of your coffee. But I'm just going to try and use them as just regular stencils. Um, some cute envelopes. Some random stickers. And I don't know if this is like a lion or a sloth or what it is. But some stickers. Um, I grabbed some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Kind of interesting. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh was such a big thing when I was a kid. Um... Another little card, a little booklet thing. I'm guessing it's for keeping something for the train or something, I don't know. But I'm going to try and bind this into my next personal journal, I think. Because I love the colours and the pattern and I don't know, I think it's really cool. And then if I bind it in the middle here, then I will have like these little pockets to tuck some bits and pieces in and I'll get to look at the beautiful colours. I don't know, I think that's probably how I'm going to use that. Um, these are a whole lot of paint chips. I got this little to-do list. It's a kind of vintage one from a school photography business. Um, I grabbed some postcards. I love this beautiful one with the stars on it. Um, some photos. That's a wee postcard. You know, just a bunch of cute vintage. -y. These ones are vintage looking. Well, they're probably not actually vintage, but they look kind of vintage. This weird cat postcard. Um, yeah, I just grabbed a bunch of different different ones that I could see. They had a few of these cute little um, embroidered doily things, which are really sweet, so I picked them up. This piece here was really, really cute. I think it was supposed to be a pillowcase or something, but it hadn't ever been put together. But it's just a little farming scene with chickens and a cat, and I have chickens and a cat at my house, and so I thought it was really cute. More paint colours. One of these um, negatives. Fabric scrap. What else do we have? That's my receipt. Um, more, more of these. This one's some Dragon Ball Z stickers. And I thought these were Power Rangers, but my husband tells me they are some sort of knockoff or they're not Power Rangers or some I don't know. Um, but I think they're tattoos. But I'm going to see if I can do like a transfer kind of rub on to my pages I don't know we'll see and then my husband loves Dragon Ball Z um something he's grown up with he loves it so I got those stickers because they reminded me of him that's the flax um or harakiki more see stacks more of these lovely New Zealand themed um bits and pieces this is the glacier I'm guessing this might be the Church of the Good Shepherd, maybe, down in Tikapo. I'm not sure what that one is. And then, we're getting very close to the end, guys. Um, I grabbed this sort of papery um, measuring tape. I love papery measuring tapes. What else do I have in here? We're getting very close to the end. I think it's pretty well done now. Um... I got this little thing. I think it's only got a couple of pages left. A little wine account. And then I found this, which is cool. Because I spent $15 to fill up my bag. And inside of there, I've got these first day cover envelopes. And it has $14 worth of stamps on them. There's 14 $1 stamps. So that's like pretty much all my money back. Um, So that was pretty cool to find all those stamps. I don't know if I'll use them or not, but... 
because they're kind of it's kind of cool you're having the, the first day cover envelopes um and then i will show you my find of the day i'll see if i can clear this off so that i've got space because this is quite big okay so i've cleared off the space and the last thing i well it wasn't the last thing i found but the last thing i'm showing was this big Dulux World of Colour Atlas. So Dulux is a paint store. I don't know if that's just New Zealand or if that's worldwide or what. But it's a paint store. And I found this enormous book. It's huge. Um, I think it's probably A3, give or take. Um, but look at look at the pages. Aren't they stunning? So there's all of these. There's starts off with the greys and browns. Um, and then it goes into these incredible, I hope you can see this, these incredible pages of colour. So these are the pastel colours. Here we've got New Zealand colours. I think they're named after New Zealand places. Um, and then we've got the spectrum of colours. So this one's kind of the pinks, more pink colours, more kind of going into red though some of these um over here we've got oranges it's going into oranges down the bottom i hope you can see these um but yeah more orange and browns um it all goes from like the light color down to the boldest color and then into the darker colors um but on that kind of kind of orangey spectrum there and then we're moving into kind of yellow colors here and then we have more yellow kind of going into greens oh they're just so beautiful i am just so excited to use and they're lovely thick card each each paper sorry page is like a thick kind of card stock but these aren't bumpy they are all flat like the colors aren't like they might be stuck on, but they are they're really thin. Um, so it's not like a big chipboard or anything in there. Look at these greens, so beautiful. Teals, and then we're gonna move into yeah, more teal and then blues. Moving over into the blues here. So pretty. I love these. Um, and then we're going into purples those beautiful purples and then more of the pinky purples and into pinks again and that's the end of the colors and then it's just got these um all of the index kind of part which i'm gonna try and use as well i am thinking i might try and make traveler's notebook covers out of these i think they're really cool um and then i'll probably use um this to do that too but i'll cover them with fabric or something but they're just a great thickness they're like the perfect thickness, I reckon, for a good cover. Um, so I was absolutely stoked getting this. It's just awesome. So that was my favorite find of the day, I think. Thanks so much for watching. This video has been a little bit bitsy. I've been all over the place. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really love it if you would give this video a like, subscribe, leave a comment. It honestly means so much. It helps me out just an incredible amount. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.